<laughs> G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab, and today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Doye 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter. Well, let's get into it. Righto, so what you're looking at here is the Doye. Now, if you're not familiar with the name, D-E-Y-E, -E, uh, it's pronounced Doye. This is supplied by Voltex. So it's the Voltex Doye 5 kilowatt hybrid. Comes with natural cooling. You can probably see the cooling fans underneath here. Wall mounted. Uh, it's got a communication for BMS, either RS-485 or CAN, which is pretty cool because battery systems often use different protocols for talking. The uh, IP rating 65, so you can put it outdoors. But remember, just about all inverters like to be kept out of direct sun, because, you know, they're trying to keep cool and the sun heats them up. Comes with a five year warranty. Wow, that's pretty cool. Now let's have a look at what else is in here. I've got a little box, and it is indeed the uh, ubiquitous Wi Fi dongle. It means that with an app, you can configure this and monitor it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, comes with uh, some installation instructions, cool, and a little bag of extras. What have we got in here? A communication cable, matching PV plugs. Remember, it's dual MPVT. A temperature sensor, some wall mount bolts, a little plug, which I'll have to read the manual what this one's for. I'll pop it in the description, kind of curious. Looks like it might be a temperature sensor actually. And this one might be a comms cable, sorry. Uh, and what have we got here? Remember this is a true unboxing. I've never been inside this thing before. Uh, I have had a little peek at the data sheet. Ah, yes. The all important uh, CT. Now why is it all important? Now if you've got this inverter connected to your home, you want it to support the loads in your home or installation. It only knows about that consumption if it can see the consumption at the point of connection. So you put the CT up at the main switchboard or as close as possible upstream of all the loads and the CT will report back to the hybrid inverter whether you're consuming from the grid or whether you're exporting to the grid from another inverter system. And then this inverter will respond appropriately. It'll try and displace grid power uh, and it will try and store any surplus renewable generation not being generated by this unit itself. Okay, so let's uh, have a closer look at this unit. Now on the side here, we've got a DC isolator. Uh, and it's lockable. Now, that's a big deal in Australia because we're required to have um, isolation adjacent to an inverter system. And if you don't have a lockable isolator integrated into the product, you've got to put an external lockable isolator. So that's a bit annoying. The unit here has uh, two MPPTs, which is great. And for a five kilowatt inverter, that's just the sweet spot you want. Now let's talk a bit about the batteries. The, the, what's kind of interesting about this inverter is it can work with both lead acid and lithium ion batteries in the 40 to 60 volt range. It's got a big maximum charge current of 120 amps and discharge current of 120 amps. So whoa, that's where it gets its five kilowatts of power from. Now it also does a three stage uh, charging profile for, and with equalization, which is ideal for lead acid batteries. Comes with an external temperature sensor, it's probably what that little plug was, and it also has charging strategies for lithium ion batteries. It's got something in the manual called self adaptation to BMS, so I guess um, it can talk the right protocols with many battery systems. No doubt I'll put a list uh, in the description of all the compatible lithium ion batteries. Now let's look at the PV string configuration. So this can take up to 6.5 kilowatts of PV. Now you might be going, hang on, it's a five kilowatt inverter. Why would you put more than five kilowatts of PV on it? Because it can walk and chew gum. That means it can charge a battery and invert at the same time. So it can support loads and charge your battery. And also solar panels never put out, almost never what their maximum rating is. So a six and a half kilowatt array, well, 
often only put out 80% of that once it heats up. So just be aware that uh, you do need to have plenty of headroom with your PV. The input voltage range, uh, the, 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 the sweet spot you could say is 370 volts, uh, but it will work between 100 and 500 volts DC. The startup voltage is 125, so it starts at pretty early in the morning, and it will track all the way up to 425 volts. The input current limits is 13 amps per MPPT with a short circuit rating of 17 amps. So that's important when sizing your panels. You've got to consider the safety margin of 125% over the, uh, the uh, short circuit rating of a module to ensure that the DC system can cope with any faults uh, on the PV side. Now, I mentioned the number of MPPTs is two, and that means you can have different numbers of panels on each string or each input, which is really flexible. In terms of AC power, uh, it, it's got a 5,000 watt or 5,000 VA to be more correct, uh, uh, rated output, and the same 5,000 watts on its UPS backup port. So it's actually got a backup functionality. So if the grid fails, you've still got that 5,000 watts of continuous power or in amps, 21.7 amps. It can do what's called pass-through. It can pass through up to 35 amps to the loads on the backup circuit. So when the grid's available, actually you've got more than 5,000 watts of potential uh, power to those loads. It can do a very short peak for 10 seconds of two times its rated power. Now that is really impressive. That is impressive. So 10 kilowatts for 10 seconds. Why is that important? Well, many loads, like particularly pumps and, and motors, et cetera, have a surge rating when they turn on. And that surge uh, is a, you know, pretty big. And so you need a bit of headroom in your power to be able to start those appliances. Oh, I forgot to mention, it's a single phase inverter and it's got some awesome efficiencies. Uh, maximum efficiency of AC to DC conversion is 97.6% and it's MPPT efficiency, that means the DC to DC efficiency, like when connected to the DC bus and charging batteries, is 99.9. Whoa, <laughs> not much room for improvement there, guys. Uh, it is 4777 part two compliant, so you can install this unit. And as I mentioned at the beginning, it weighs 15.1 kilos. So it's actually a really sweet unit. Now, the other thing I like about it is the wiring enclosure here. You actually bring all your cables inside and terminate them in here. So uh, not a lot of plugs. That's uh, pretty cool. I mean, of course, there is the, the standard plugs for your um, PV modules here, uh, but all of the AC and comms go internally and have a uh, termination inside this enclosure here. So if you enjoyed this unboxing, uh, check out the installation video coming soon. Thanks for watching. Check it.